Wow, these advertised internet speeds are kind of incredible. I'm old enough to remember when 56k was bleeding edge, and someday I'll bore you all with my stories of exploits using a DOS machine connected to message boards on a 9600 baud modem. That 8088 was pretty sweet back in the day. While connection speeds have exploded, they kind of really haven't, at least not in both directions. So let's chat about your upload speeds. You thankfully don't need the fastest uploads to keep up with all the work here on reviews.org, so make sure you hit all those subscribe options down below this video. You can put that upload to good use with some tasty comments underneath this video if you were so inclined. 100 megabits, 400 megabits, even gigabit, that's 1,000 megabit connections. The internet is getting really fast these days if all you wanna do is consume content. For many regions around this country and around the world, especially those without a lot of competing options for broadband, consumers are using asymmetrical connections. The download speeds are a lot faster than the upload speeds. Much of the marketing for broadband though still largely hangs on the consuming side. You go to any carrier or ISP's website and it's unlikely their upload speeds will even be mentioned on those main landing pages. A quick personal anecdote Anecdote? You bet. Such a corny transition. While road tripping recently through New Mexico, my wife and I, we still needed to get some work done. And visiting my folks, we thought we'd have solid data to use. My parents, they pay for a 400 megabit connection. But on arriving, we found we could barely keep stable video calls connected. My mom figured she could bump up her plan. But after roughly an hour of digging through her ISP's website, we were never able to find any disclosure of what the upload speeds were for those higher tier and more expensive connections. Even digging through all the fine print disclaimers, the rated upload speeds were vaguely defined. Near as we could tell in her area, there were no faster uploads. No matter how much you spent, getting the faster downloads. Back in California, in my neighborhood, I can get up to gigabit downloads on cable, but the absolute fastest upload available is only up to 30 megabits per second. Just under a thousand megabits down, 30 megabits up. In our current climate of working from home and the occasional remote schooling situation, this has a significant chilling effect on the services we tend to use, or more accurately, when we try to use them. I work as a content creator, producer, editor. I depend on uploading decently large video files and hosting high quality video streams. My wife regularly collaborates with her coworkers over conference calls and she needs a stable upstream to her corporate VPN. And the two of us together can put a hurt on our up to 30 megabit per second stream. Work, school, staying connected with family and friends, doctor visits, cloud storage backups. Our ability to send data is increasingly important in modern society. And this is largely a function of the TV industry. To grossly oversimplify, our current infrastructure was built on massive downstream demand. The connection to your home had to sustain video. Lots and lots of video. And there's still a generational idea of the internet being an additional entertainment perk of phone lines and TV service, where we're still fighting political battles over the definition of the internet as a telecommunication communication service, and the last head of the FCC reclassified it as an information service. If you want a proper breakdown on that issue, definitely drop us a comment down below. So because of the way that plumbing was originally installed for DSL and cable, the disparity between downloading and uploading is continuing to increase. As an example, one aspect of upload use, we have a video detailing what internet speeds you might need for different kinds of game streaming on this channel. Totally think it's worth a watch. But back to the main point here, we'll have to keep an eye on broadband and advertising. Recently, we heard a little noise about plans to change the definition of high-speed broadband to include not only faster download speeds, but to make upload speeds symmetrical with the download. Currently, the only broadband connection capable of matching downloads and uploads 
is fiber. So we could be in for a contentious debate from current DSL and cable providers. It's a wacky conversation, but one that has played out over generations of telephone, television, and now internet consumers. And we wanna hear from you. Where do you use your upload speed the most? What are some of your mission critical apps or services which rely on your ability to send data up a pipe? Is your phone data faster than your home data? Drop us some of those tasty hot takes down below. And make sure you keep up with the whole reviews.org team here on YouTube, around social media, and on our home site, reviews.org. As always, thanks so much for watching, sharing, and subscribing for reviews.org. I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, aka Some Gadget Guy, and I'll catch y'all on the next video.